And TransLink says it will carry out a review into pricing on its enterprise service. It comes after BBC NI revealed rail passengers travelling from Belfast to Dublin can pay more than double what the passengers going in the other direction pay. The enterprise is jointly run by TransLink and the Irish operator Erin Road Erin. Here's Aileen Moyna. Using public transport is a more environmentally friendly way of travelling. But when it costs more money to buy a train ticket in Belfast to travel to Dublin than the other way around, is that fair or indeed worth it? If you travel on the Enterprise from Dublin to Belfast, it'll cost you £13.50. But if you buy your ticket in Belfast and travel in the opposite direction to Dublin, it'll cost you more than double the price at £33. The Enterprise service is jointly run by TransLink and Irish Rail. But why are TransLink fares more expensive? It is a, it is a different fare structure compared to um, obviously Irish Rail. Um, and that's something we are looking at and working closely with Irish Rail. But does TransLink acknowledge that this difference is hard for passengers to understand? Subsidy is different in the north of Ireland to the south of Ireland, but I get where the customers come from. We are reviewing that um, um, in the near future. And while a review of fares will be welcomed by passengers who use the service, there is another issue, as the train line from Belfast to Lisburn is closed until the autumn. This means the Enterprise train will only run between Portadown and Dublin. And for anyone buying a train ticket in Belfast, well, they will be bussed as far as Newry before they can jump on board. The question for passengers now will be, is it worth it? Translings David Curry there talking about a review of fares on the Enterprise service from Belfast to Dublin will be very welcome, but whether that review will mean any change remains to be seen. But he also mentioned about subsidies being a factor in the fare difference between what you pay in Belfast compared to what's paid in Dublin. But the subsidy that Irish Rail receives still wouldn't make up for the full difference. But perhaps the bigger question is, is it worth paying £33 here at the station for a train ticket to Dublin when half of that service is provided by bus substitution? When in fact you could actually travel the whole journey by bus, OK it will take half an hour extra but the fare will be half the price at £17 or even cheaper if you buy online beforehand. So the question really is, would you prefer to travel by train or bus, save time or save money?